I'm tripping. Hey, what's up, everybody? Cowboys Nation out there. You know what, guys? I was not going to make a video about this situation, but I feel like I have to. Everybody's been talking about it, Cowboys Nation especially. Everybody's panicking and, oh, what do we do? Oh, God, everybody's making moves but us. I don't know what to do. What do we do, man? Oh, what do we do? Guys, relax. Pump your brakes. It's okay. These things happen every free agent time. It, it just, it happens. Now, I, like I said, I was not going to make a video about this, but this is about the Michael Bennett, Philadelphia Eagles picking up Michael Bennett uh, in free agency. Now, guys, this isn't a grade A pickup, guys. This isn't like a Lawrence Taylor or or, <laughs> or Reggie White or, you know, Michael Bennett is 32 years old. He'll be 33 in November. He's aging. His numbers are declining. Uh, if you look at his stats here, his best season was uh, 2000 and let's see, 2015. He had 10 sacks and just 33 tackles. Uh, sacks wise, that's okay. You you kind of as a defensive end, you kind of want to get into double digits. Uh, he could have had more, but he only had 10. Uh, let's see. He had 33 solo tackles. That's not, not good for a defensive end. Now, 2017, he had 25 tackles and 8.5 sacks. So his numbers are declining. He's not really just a, a, a serious threat that you have to worry about. Now, he's still good. He still has a little left in the tank, I believe. But like I say, he'll be 33 years old this year. He's aging. He's not getting younger. He's getting older. Uh, 30, when you start getting your, your 32, 33s, 34s, you got to start really using your head on the field because you, your body parts kind of give start giving away on you, especially when you're playing football. You're older than the average 30. He's older than the average 32, 33 year old. So, because he's, he's doing more with his body, but, um, it, this guy is just really not a threat. Now we don't know how he's going to be in the Philadelphia Eagles defensive scheme and defensive system. They might be able to revamp his career. Who knows? We don't know yet. He hasn't touched the field yet. So uh, I don't want us to panic and say, hey, well, oh, they're picking up guy. You know, they, I don't even think they needed him. I think this is just one of those. This, this is what I call a James Harrison pickup. Um, James Harrison, y'all, everybody know who he's from the Pittsburgh Steelers. He went to the New England Patriots and thinking, you know, the guy's, he's a beast, you know, in the weight room, you know. But on the field, he's lost a couple of steps. Hell, he's almost 40 years old. Hell, he's older than I am, I think. Um, I think he's like a year, maybe the same age. Hell, I don't know. But um, his his best years have passed him by. And I thought I think he thought he was going to go to New England and get a Super Bowl. I mean, they got there, but um, they just couldn't, they couldn't, you know, get the job done. So uh, this is one of those same things, I believe. You know, aging veteran guy hanging on the coattails or, or – you know, trying to chime in or jump on the bandwagon of some of a team that's, you know, just won a Super Bowl. Thinking, oh, we're going to go back, you know, and they might go back. Who knows? Uh, the, the, the Philadelphia Eagles are a good team, uh, especially defensively, and they, they're they going to be good for a long time. So I can see the panic and, you know, oh, good God, Michael Bennett, you know, but hey, guys, you know, I wouldn't worry too much about it. Now, I did go on uh, Space Cowboys live stream yesterday because he was he did a great job. If you guys haven't subscribed to him, please do. Space Cowboys 17 he did a real good job live live streaming about this situation, breaking everything down, you know. But um, I, I said the same thing. I said I think it was just a something they just wanted to do to 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 get people talking about it, get get his name out there. Get oh my god! Because if you think about it long and hard. The Dallas Cowboys are the most loved and the most hated team in the NFL. Uh, we're still still called America's team, even though we haven't won a Super Bowl in 23 years. We're still the number one topic on uh, the, the sports shows and ESPN, NFL Network, and Fox Sport 1, and radio, my local radio stations and things like that. People are always worried about what we're doing and what we're not doing. You get me? So, And we're the richest team in the NFL as well, so thanks to Jerry Jones. So... Uh, our name, our brand is the highest and it's still out there and it's still up there. And um, the Eagles and the Patriots have just been in the Super Bowl and you don't hear nothing about them. I haven't heard two two bits about them, I guess, unless you're local in Philadelphia. But I don't live in Philadelphia. I live in Dallas, Texas. So it's none of my business. But 
I think that's probably has something to do with it. You know, like, oh, nobody's talking about my team. So let me, let's pick up this guy and get some people talking and get some people. And that's what we're doing. You know, we're talking about it. So uh, they did a good job at doing it because everybody's panicking and talking about it. So, but that's all I got, guys, man. I, I wouldn't really worry about this pick too much. The season hasn't started. It's not going to start for some months now. We're just in the beginning of the uh, off season. Uh, free agents and all that haven't even been to, haven't even, haven't even got the draft going. So, you know, I, Come on, guys. Let's just pump our brakes. Let's let's just take it one day at a time because you never know what the day is going to bring you. That's why you got to stay prayed up. Ask Michael Bennett. Holla back at your boy. I'm out. And the only thing else I got to say is...